Hey guys and welcome to TrickMinnow.ai. So today I'm doing a full review of Stealth Writer, which I think is one of the three or four top rewriting tools out there. Uh, let's first review the pricing. It's pretty generous. So for the monthly, you can pay 20, 35 or 50 bucks. And for that amount of money, you basically are limited by the amount of words you can rewrite at a time. And the total words in all these three tiers, you get a ghost model and a ninja model. So ghost model is the one we're going to be testing. Also, Stealth Rider has an AI detector, with them even claiming that this is very similar to Turnitin. We'll be checking that. And if you go to the dashboard, you can see that they have a generator feature, similar to that of Stealth GPT, and a humanizer, so we'll, we'll be looking at Ghost. In this video, we'll be testing three levels, 1, 5, and 10 and their impact on grammar and readability. And in the end, we'll compare this to a growing database of different humanizing tools. So first, let me grab a ChatGPT-generated essay, which doesn't pass any of the AI detectors currently. Let's use the lower setting, which is level 1. Let's paste it in. And this is conveniently under 1,000 words. Okay, this is our human essay, and I like how it keeps the formatting. The original essay had a correctness score of 2, this is a correctness score of 4. Now let's check Hemingway, this is grade 15. Now let's go to originality, 2.0, 0% AI, 3.0, 3.0 is 0. What about Winston? Winston is 9%. So surprisingly, Turnitin is 23%, and anything below 20 or 25% might be considered false positive, which is good news. So that was a surprise. Now let's see what the A detector of Stealth Writer thinks of this piece of text. Let's choose check for AI, and it says 100% AI. Stealth Writer's A detector thinks that its ghost model with a setting human one is 100% AI. Okay. So let's now move to human 5, which is a setting, which should give us a happy medium between readability and AI detection. Let's head over to Grammarly. Correctness. Correctness is 9. Readability is post-credit. Let's see how well it scores against originality 2.0. Okay, 51%. Better. 3.0. 0. Winston thinks that this is 66% human, which is a vast improvement over the previous efforts. 66. So weirdly enough, Turnitin gave us the same 23% AI score. And let's now see what the Stealth Writer's own detector thinks of the output. And I got a message that you can use this feature uh, only once per 24 hours. So we won't be able to use that in this video any longer. Finally, let's go to the most human setting of all. Let's check grammar. Correctness is around 12. Readability is that of a postgraduate level. Let's see if we can finally trick originality 2.0 decisively. 96% original, nice. What about 3.0? 0%. How about Winston? Winston thinks this is 89% human. And for the most human setting inside of Stealth Rider, Turnitin returns a perfect 0% AI score. Now, what does Stealth Rider think of its own output? And it thinks it's 20% AI. Okay, as a final test, let's use the inbuilt generator. And we're going to be using the same prompt as we did with ChatGPT. The only difference would be this setting here. So generate a 1000 word essay about reimagining history. Looks like this would be the most aggressive mode of all, so correctness is an astounding 42. Readability is grade 16. Originality 2.0. 66% original. 3.0. 13. Winston. 99% human. And Torrentine was 0% AI. Okay, as a final check, let's use the AA detector. 0% AI. Okay. So we can probably summarize the findings. So all in all, Stealth Rider is a pretty good option if you want to bypass Turnitin or even Winston. Passing Originality 2.0 has proven difficult. Only the most human setting was able to achieve that. None of the settings beats 3.0 decisively. So it was only Stealth GPT who showed a research high score of 63% human. As far as the inbuilt AI detector, I wouldn't trust it. Probably it's safe to say that uh, when it says zero, it's going to be zero. But there is a lot of variance and I don't think it's very accurate. And the inbuilt generator, although it passes Winston, doesn't show very good uh, numbers against originality and generates a lot of spelling and grammar mistakes. Hope this video was helpful. Go check out trickmino.ai for articles, tips and tricks on AI detection. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.